to create this model, we must first select each structure in turn and manually draw around the outline through every slice that we expect to find in the CT scan. Once this is done, for every slice in which we expect to find that organ, then we have created a full three-dimensional volumetric rendering that can be added to the model. Here we can see the original CT scan of the patient with each of the selected structures now highlighted in a different colour throughout the entire scan. These structures are then combined to form the initial three-dimensional model. This initial model shows all of the selected structures as well as their relevant positions towards each other and can be fully interrogated in three dimensions in all six degrees of freedom. Although this creates no new information, by converting the two-dimensional CT DICOM data into a more familiar three-dimensional format, the anatomy is more easily understood. Finally, as this model contains errors uh, subject to interpretation, we must load the model onto a further computer program that uses an algorithm to smooth the surface, giving a more realistic view. And the final product is a highly realistic model that is patient-specific of their anatomy. This can then be loaded onto multiple viewing devices. We use the Microsoft HoloLens that can be used in theatre and controlled in a sterile manner. This highly realistic model, once loaded onto the viewing device, can be displayed in augmented reality. With multiple viewing devices, the model can be examined simultaneously by multiple parties at the same time, enabling clear communication for better operative planning.